Hey everyone, Dan Takashi here. This week we got big earnings coming out from some of the most biggest and famous companies in the world. We got earnings coming out this week on Apple, Facebook, Microsoft, Alphabet, that's Google guys, and Amazon. So we got some of these five huge conglomerate companies reporting this week and it's gonna move the markets, it's gonna move everybody's portfolio and we all wanna know how are these stocks going to move into earnings? Sometimes you look at the charts, not just the charts, but the short interest ratios, the options, all these things, it gives you a bit of a hint as to what direction people are thinking into earnings. So let me go through with you these five companies looking at the technical analysis and give you my advice on what I think you should be doing with your money, your time, your portfolio at this moment before earnings come out. Those of you new to my channel, my name is Dan. I'm a former Wall Street trader. Would appreciate if you guys subscribe to my channel below and would also appreciate if you press the like button and recommend my channel on social media, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, etc. Would very much appreciate your support. Uh, today currently, guys, is Tokyo Japan time, April the 26th. It is currently uh, 2.59 p.m. So earnings will be announced this week and let's go through these pretty quickly. There's five different companies. So let me go through this just a couple minutes each into each company and then give you my consent, well, I'll give you my opinion at the end of what I think you should be doing. So these companies have the biggest weight in the NASDAQ, guys. They're humongous companies, right? Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet, Facebook, uh, they're humongous. Besides Tesla, they make up the top six, top actually seven companies because uh, Alphabet, Google, Google uh, is included in that as well. So it's actually, sorry, that's the uh, top seven companies here. So these companies have a huge weight in the NASDAQ and these names actually, for the most part, they moved up on Friday before earnings are announced this week so it seems like the market is starting to consider the option that maybe they will start going up into earnings now let's go take a look at these each one chart by chart and let's also look at the options and the short interest ratio as to see what's going on here as usual guys if you're new to investing and if you're new to my channel feel free to review some of my previous videos on the channel homepage there is a playlist that's called investing for beginners feel free to review that as well as some of my key channel videos below also feel free to check out guys the brokerage accounts the, some of the brokerage accounts that i do use for my investing and trading you can see in the below link as well so let's get started first and foremost let's take a look at Google here. So taking a look at Google, we see right now, first and foremost, the chart is was in an uptrend and now it's sort of in a downtrend and a MACD here. The two have crossed here. It's a bit of a MACD downward momentum. RSI currently is 70 at the moment. Volume is normal and right now it's still, eh, it's kind of in the middle of a Bollinger Band, a little bit toward the high end here. To me, indicating that it looks a little bit toppy, but the last time the MACD did cross, it didn't mean the stock just went down. It just meant that there was some sideways action. So perhaps that's what the stock is in the signaling right now. There's going to be some sideways action. Looking at the short interest ratio for Google as well, we see currently right now it's at 15.52. It's a little bit high. To me, that's a good sign, meaning that there is still room. There is a little bit of fear in the stock. To me, that indicates there's probably some room for it to go up. Then looking at the option scenario, looking at the volatility scenario right now for Google, uh, I was looking at this earlier. It didn't seem like there was much going on. A little bit of option option pickup here. Implied volatility is pretty normal. So overall, Google seems like a little bit of yeah, sideways trend direction. It may continue into earnings. Uh, next, let's look at Apple, the beast Apple. Apple announced a lot of different products, new products last week, and the stock didn't really move much. Uh, it was up 1.8% on Friday, and the MACD also just crossed cost similar to Google. Now also looking at our side, still above 50, so it's still indicating that there's an upward momentum. Albate, very small and slim, I think it's still in an upward momentum, and it's in the middle of its Bollinger Band at the moment. Let's also take a look now at the short interest ratio as well. Uh, short interest ratio for Apple. Dun, dun, dun. Let's take a look. And we see here that from what I'm seeing, short interest ratio is normal, 16.6%. Nothing really to me showing that there really isn't that much activity going on in Apple. Even with all these new announcements, even with you know just what's going on with their whole uh, new, uh, let's say, product portfolio, uh, nothing is really moving. And that to me is kind of scary. With all these new announcements, I thought the stock would have had some momentum here. Even looking at the option situation, implied volatility is not moving, and the option volume is also barely moving as well. So it's almost as like this, those announcements that's last week about these new products, it looks like the market just kind of ignored it. Not that good of a sign, but let's see how the stock reacts this week. A little bit of a downward momentum. 
Next is Amazon. Amazon as well up 0.96% on Friday. Uh, also seeing a MACD cross as well. That's interesting. RSI also eh, getting into the 50 range as well and sitting in the middle of its Bollinger Band. Uh, looking at Amazon, let's look at the short interest rate uh, in short interest ratio as well uh, to get an idea of what's going on. Uh, short interest ratio, what the heck is this? Uh, that's the wrong chart. It's at 12.38% right now. So it was actually quite high and now it's on its way back down. So there actually used to be a lot of fear in Amazon. I actually thought that Amazon actually got too low. I was recommending to buy Amazon around the 3000 level guys. Feel free to check out my previous videos guys. Sometimes it's good to look at the old videos to see why I was thinking something. I know everybody only cares about the new updates, but sometimes you want to check out the older ones. So you find out why I was thinking that and then you could figure it out yourself before or watching my YouTube videos on how to catch the next trend up. So free, uh, feel free to check that out below in the previous videos as well. So going back to Amazon right now, a little bit of a declining momentum here. Uh, also, the short interest ratio was high, but now it's going back down. To me, it's already had that big oomph and that price up. Uh, so I don't know if it's going to continue to go up here. Uh, short interest ratio really came back down, which is kind of interesting. If it was still high up, I'd say that it looks like a nice buy, but it still it came all the way back down. Lots of, yeah, quite a big chunky option flow here, indicating that there's probably some people a little bit nervous about Amazon into their earnings. Uh, next, let's check out Facebook here. Facebook, let's look at this chart. Facebook overall, it's been in a declining MACD actually earlier for the last one or two weeks or so. It's been in this declining trend. RSI is also at 53 and it's in the middle of its Bollinger Band. Do note that Facebook was in this pennant chart pattern. It broke higher, which is great for a medium to long term scenario. However, short term right now, given the fact that its MACD is pointing down, I'd say that there's a little bit higher chance that the stock goes down and then up at the moment. Albeit still the volume is very low, so it's difficult to judge in this situation. Uh, now let's look at the short interest ratio as well for Facebook. If we take a look at the short interest ratio for Facebook, we see that looking at the chart here currently right now we're at 11.62. It's actually gone down a lot. So to me, this looks a little bit more dangerous. This looks like it's gone down a lot. There's not that much fear left in the market. This to me looks like eh, it could actually go down. It's more than up here so that to me stands out as a bit of a worry uh, finally let's look at let's say the option situation for Facebook uh, I would sort of assume that the option situation is not going on that much right now currently the options volatility and the options volume is very low in the entire market yeah it's super low in Facebook almost nothing trading right now nobody seems to care in the option world finally let's look at where were we here Microsoft is the last one here Microsoft also announcing earnings this week just has a new MACD trend here that looks also looks a little bit dangerous since it's brand new. It's a little bit different from Facebook, which has already been in decline for a while. Microsoft, it's brand new. Uh, it looks a little bit toppy and it's near the top of its Bollinger Band range. And let's take a look at short interest ratio as well. Looking at this here, looking at the short interest rate ratio is currently at 8.94 that's low it's gotten a little bit too low here so that also worries me as well Microsoft as well as Facebook so listening to all this what's my consensus what's my opinion on what I think you should be doing with these stocks and with your portfolio this week into earnings as usual guys investing is and always will be self responsibility please do note guys that whatever I say in my video is and always will be of course it's your money it's not mine take it with a grain of salt yes I've been getting a lot of things right recently. I'm not saying this as to be confident or arrogant. Just look at my videos the last three, four weeks. Yes, a lot of things I've gotten right. That doesn't mean the next one I'm gonna get right. This is investing. Every single idea is separate. We don't know. So this is investing. Always make sure that you take self-responsibility and divide your investment up into long-term investment and short-term investment. Short-term investment especially, limit your ideas. Five to 10% of your net worth for any single one. No matter how much you love it, always limit yourself. This is what gonna, is gonna keep you in the game long term, and that's how you make big money. It's actually by risking, uh, well, containing your risk instead of just going all out bonkers. So my idea, looking at this so far, is look, all these are in a downtrend right now. None of them are in an uptrend, so I don't really like buying any of them, to be honest. And do I like selling any of them? I don't know. 
I think that of these, I think the only one that I consider shorting is maybe Microsoft. Microsoft here, it's a brand new MACD, so it's a bit different. And right now, the short interest ratio is really, really low. Uh, Facebook, although it's a short, the short interest ratio is low, it's already been in a declining phase for a while. So Microsoft, to me, looks a little bit more dangerous here. Uh, this potentially is a short. Uh, the other ones, I don't think that there's anything to do at the moment because downward MACD, it doesn't mean it's going to go down, uh, but at the same time, there's no reason to buy. So I think that's a do nothing, do nothing, short Microsoft. That's right now my top idea for these GAFA stocks short term. Thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed today's channel, feel free to uh, press subscribe and also feel free to press the like button and would appreciate if you guys recommend my channel on social media and whatnot. Thanks so much guys. Have a wonderful week and I will talk to you soon.